Oh. Welcome to Toffee TV. We're at the Goodison Park sleep out here with Morgan Feeney to tell us all about it. It's the third year you've done this. What, what's it like to sleep out at Goodison Park? Yeah, it's tough. Um, for the third years, it's still going and getting a lot of people here and raising a lot of money. You know, it's it's great. And but it is tough, and it makes you appreciate just just how hard it is for people to live in them conditions. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. It's it's uh, obviously we've only got one night of this. People have, have got to do it three, you know, all year round. And um, how much is that, you know, put on you by the club, by your manager David Unsworth? How important that is. Yeah, like I said before, you know, we, we get a lot of time to prepare for this with all our layers and sleeping bags and things, and we get a lot of shelter here. So for them to live in them conditions with, with not much at all, it, it's, it's very tough. And Unzi's yeah, drilled it into us from the start, you know, just how tough it was. And I think it's important for us to come and experience it as, as close as possible as what we can and to do it here. So, yeah, for the project for, to still be going and raising a lot of money. And, we have the house now, so you know it's a real success, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And footballers are seen as very privileged people. You know, you see all the pictures and you see all the video now. So, do you think this gives you, as a young player, a, a good ground and going forward? Yeah, it, it does. I mean, I said before, we, none of us are very like big time people anyway. So, we'll, we'll always offer things like this, and when you come to the club, you're always expected this because of the club that we're at so I think to come down here experience it like we do you know it's a grand experience but you know it's something that we we relish and stuff that we want to do for the community and players that have signed you know maybe in the last year last two years have you had to not talk them into but just just give them a little bit of knowledge of what 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 is expected of them when they come to this club and, and doing things like this yeah well I think early on they realize very quickly just what this club's about and just uh, how important the community is and getting involved and things like that but the, the club demands a certain person as well as a certain player and you learn that very quickly like I said but we sign good people not just good players so we're always up to doing stuff like this and we're, we're a really good group so be no one in this group that won't be willing to come down and help out at any time of the year so and also it puts you in touch with a lot of fans you know there's a lot of people here tonight and there will have been in the last couple of years is, is that another interesting part of it just sort of being around fans obviously it's a little bit different for you because you you were in the Gladys Street yeah. but for some of the other players who may not be used to um, speaking to fans day in and day out do they get a different sort of angle on what it's like at Everton Football Club yeah well uh, I think nowadays there's a sort of barrier between players and fans which I think it shouldn't be and, and I don't think we do as a club so you know for us to mingle with the fans and we speak to them we tell our stories they tell our, their stories so you know just to have that that real bond I know we're young players and things like that but you know it's important and we always get involved with stuff like that and to do it here as well it's great. Now as I said last season you were in the Gladys Street and you made your first team debut what was that like? You know, where was the people around you? Did they know what was going on? You know, did some of them go, hang on, I know him. He's playing for Everton on the pitch. Yeah, I think they started to, to twig towards the end. You know, uh, I had to give me ticket away, and then obviously I come on, and a few games later they were, um, you know, peppering me, asking me questions <laughs> and things like that. No, but some people asking for pictures and that, which was nice, but it was a strange feeling as well. Is that a strange, a strange transition to go through from fan to player? Um, you know, everyone suddenly becomes your mate. Everyone wants tickets. Everyone wants a shirt, or you know, Wayne Rooney shirt, or whatever. Is that is that a barrier? You you know, you were glad to go through. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not a bad thing, is it? I'll always be a fan and things like that. So, obviously, people are asking a lot of questions and are interested, which is great. And obviously, I'm more than happy to speak to people like that and, and do whatever I need to do. So, like I said, I'm always be a fan. So I know what what the fans need and. I'll always help out like that. And what was it like making your debut? You know, play, play. I know it wasn't always great playing in some of those games. Yeah. But what was it like, just you know, stepping on the park, playing for Everton? Well, yeah, obviously it was a tough game, and we all know how it went. And but I made my debut at Goodison. That was always the dream, and, and no one could take that away from me. So I think that was a real proud moment for me and my family. Obviously, I was disappointed with the results, yeah. and you know, I'll always remember that. But it was my debut, and yeah. it's a game that no one can take away from me like I said and obviously to follow it up with, with the next game made it a bit sweeter yeah well obviously you went to Limassol as well got, got the clean sheet got the only win in Europe that must have been brilliant to play in yeah I mean European football in general is, is special I mean I always wanted to make my debut here which I did which was great 
and then to go over there and, and get the win. It, it was an incredible feeling for me and the players and the pros, everyone who was involved. And there was a lot of fans that travelled away as well, so it was great for them. That I think that was our first win in the group. And, so, yeah, and, a, great and a lot of your mates as well, I, I, would, I would imagine, played in that game with you as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a few of us who played in that game. Hey, Harry Charles, we played left back, and Benny played as well. So to play and share that experience with players you grew up with, and you know, it was going to last for a better feeling. And obviously you got injured at the end of last season. How, how was your injury now? Yeah, I'm getting there slowly. Uh, I've had a few games now. Um, it's a slow burn. Uh, I think it'll take a while for them fully fully right. It's a, bit of, it's a bit of a strange injury. That it's a bit rare and things like that. But you know, I'm feeling a lot better than I did. And hopefully I'll get there soon enough. And you've come back almost to a completely different team and different club in many ways. New manager, new players playing at centre-back. Is that yeah. now your next challenge to try and get yourself back in that first team squad? Yeah, like you said, new manager, things, things like that. So just got to impress the right people and obviously learn from the players who are in front of you, most importantly. And obviously the, the aim is to get yourself in the team as soon as possible. But little things that you can take from that and learn. Every day is a learning curve. So yeah, just crack on and hopefully it takes me far. Brilliant. Nice one for Morgan to join us on Toffee TV. We're down at Goodison for the sleep out. Make sure you donate to this. All the link is in the description. Check that out and donate. Thanks for watching.